lot to think about as we go through the day today as we will see a big powerful winter storm track our way. In the meantime, fog has formed. It's some freezing fog with temperatures that are starting in the teens and 20s. So those teeny tiny water droplets that make up those low clouds as we're coming in contact with anything from the tree limbs as you can see outside Mohawk Chevrolet to the sidewalks, potentially roads as well. Things could become slick and a little rhymed in some of that uh, kind of icy coating this morning. So just something to keep in mind as you step out. The evening commute is going to be a whole lot messier with this big, powerful storm. It extends all the way back into plain, to into the plains, bringing anything from blizzard conditions to severe weather as the storm continues to work its way across the eastern U.S. We'll get a little bit of everything as the storm approaches into the second part of the day. Initially, first, it's going to be snow. There will be some accumulations, especially into the higher terrain. Flooding and heavy rain, though, top threat for us. Of course, we picked up so much snow over the weekend. Gush of warmth overnight, plus the falling rain will lead to a lot of snow melt, just adding to excessive runoff that could lead to some flooding concerns, especially through this time tomorrow. And on top of it, the wind's also going to get kicked up with some gusts that could be in the damaging range, upwards of 60 miles per hour later tonight. You can see the fog on Futurecast settling into some low-lying spots. That's not going to last all day. Clouds, though, quickly will be building in as we get set for the initial push of this wintry mess. There will be some wet snow flakes at the very least across valley locations. Still some chilly air trapped and through the evening commute, so a little bit more of a messy wintry mix as you're coming home from work, but the snow does not last all night long. Warm air takes over through about, let's say, 9, 10, even 11 o'clock, so we'll see the change first in the Valley Florida rain, eventually then into the High Peaks region as you go through the night. And it's not just any old rain. It will be heavy rain for several hours. We're looking at about one to three inches, maybe locally up to four. Of course, all that rain has to go somewhere. Some of it will be absorbed by the snowpack, but it's also going to be melting down the snow, which will lead to those flooding issues. We continue through the night and then a little backlash of some rain and snow during the day tomorrow. As I mentioned, anywhere from one to three inches, possibly some locally higher amounts of rain coming out of the eastern Catskills, adding to those flooding concerns. Charge up your devices today as well. Uh, make sure the generator is ready to go. There could be some power outages expected, especially into hilly spots off to the east of Albany with some wind gusts that could be pushing 60 miles per hour later tonight. I know a lot going on here over the next 24 hours. Fog this morning, mostly cloudy, getting windy as we go through the day. Temperatures will slowly rise into the mid 30s with the rain snow arriving after lunchtime. Temperatures will continue to climb through the night as we change over to rain. It will be heavy at times. Winds going to be howling too, coming in out of the southeast with those gusts 45, 50, possibly even 60 miles per hour. Balmy starts today tomorrow, starting at 50, but temperatures will drop through the afternoon with rain and snow still sticking around. Second part of the day. And more of an extended breather as we wind down the week. Another storm, though, on the way by the weekend. Thank you, Jill.